Okay, so here we are with our passion fruit that have bloomed so far. So we have all of these that are ready to get pollinated. So we'll begin with that one. We still have a couple more that are still growing. Got three. These two, these two opened up yesterday, and this one just opened up last night. So let's go ahead and pollinate this one here. So pretty much, it's got five of the little long ones that spin. We gotta pull those out. That's how they spin. Can you grab one? Oh, there you go. That's the pollen. So now we'll take that pollen and rub it on this little guys. And that will help get the pollen down this little stem and the fruit will be made for that little bubble is in there, that yellow bubble. So that's that one. Normally I like leaving this one out here so that other birds or animals can grab it and enjoy it. We'll leave that there for now. So now let's grab another one. There it is. Flip it over. Start rubbing, rubbing it on. And the flower will stay open for about a day or two, and then it will start shutting, the, closing in. And if it did not get pollinated, it will just fall off and die. So I haven't seen too many bees around here, so that's why I'm doing this myself. Because I'm not sure if this is a self-pollinating passion vine or not. That's pretty good. So if you can see now, each stem is a little bit yellow. And they have the pollen on them. So pretty soon, we'll go ahead and have fruit coming out of there. Alright, let's go here. So this one's already closing. I pollinated this one yesterday. And I pollinated this one yesterday as well. So now let's do this one. You see the pollen there, the yellow? That is the pollen. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this one up. It's kind of hard to do while holding on the camera. Let me pause it. There you go. Now 
and it keeps it on spinning. There's how they spin. You ready, Sherry? Huh? That one doesn't want to spin. Pull that one out. That's pretty much it. That's how you hand pollinate. And that little white bubble that's inside that I'm pointing to, that's where the fruit will actually grow. And we'll have a huge yellow passion fruit. Fruit. Alright guys. I hope you enjoyed this. We still have a whole bunch more to pollinate. And the guavas are actually growing pretty well too. Let's go look at the guavas. There's the guava tree. So we got a couple guavas here. Couple there. So we're pretty happy with these. We love these are the pink guavas that are, that are pink inside. And over here we just have a this is the biggest papaya tree we have so far. It's about seven and a half feet tall. We got a couple papayas growing on it. There's some more flowers on top. Looking forward to those. So the other papayas. And there's a smaller one. And way in the back we have the dwarf, right here, here, these are the dwarf variety, and we got the bananas, and two more dwarfs here, and then another banana tree there. So we're looking forward to those. And back there we got a couple mango trees. Sour sop and two more guavas there. And there's the a dragon fruit. There's a the dragon fruit vine, which is gonna have to wrap up. There's the mango. We still gotta put those in the ground eventually, one of these days. Alright, thank you for watching. Goodbye.